Okay, my mate said I really need to share what I'm doing here. So this is what I call my birthing tank. Because I have two different groups. There's platies and females and one male. Because I really want this half black red. With a brilliant gold head on him. He's just stunning. I really want fry from him. And then over here I have another group. Ten females, one male. He's my red green male. Now all he reckons I should show you is I don't know if I can get this on camera. The fry go through the net in the bottom and come out over here. Now I spotted some earlier. What I found is the platy babies, it's quite easy to tell them apart between them and the guppies. The platies tend to drop to the bottom, which actually makes them quite a pain to try and catch them because they hide in the mom. Anyway, yesterday I caught nearly 50 platies in this little net, some of them, all lurking in the bottom of the tank. Oh, there's one. I don't know if you can see them. There's a little platy baby hiding there in the, the mulm. Nope, he's vanished again. So all they like to do is hide underneath the mulm. So, over a week, these girls have had quite a few babies. And they're all on the bottom of the tank. So, in the next few days, I've got to catch them all. The other thing I needed to show you was how much the fish rack has changed. Instead of the fish bins across the top, we've now got tanks, which I did make most of them. I learned how. We won't look too close because they're not that great. These odd bits where, for example, the glass didn't cut right, but I'm not really worried. So they're made into cubes, excuse my dogs, it's Monday, the rubber trucks are around, and there's a roaming bulldog like start fights with my dogs. So my goal is, each cube will have a different coloured trio, and I've got to make another tank to fit into that hole. This is my for sale tank, the light is bouncing off it, hold on, back in the moat, yeah there we go, I turned my light off, that looks a bit better, still getting a bit of reflection, so these guys are for sale, and I'll be putting a whole lot more in there today, I got these ones the other day from my mate Regan, they'll be about coming out of quarantine soon, and I really like, oh okay, not the, not him. We had lots of those. This little angler has got a single, single sword. He's pretty cute. He's a little dinky guy. He's quite young. That is not focusing properly. And the female, if she goes on her side, has a really long top fin. I really like that. So I'm going to try and, if she just turn. She hasn't got any colour in her, but a few generations we can change that. Oh, she's being stubborn. She's not going to move. What if, there's one in here too. I wonder if I can spot her and show you. No, it's not going to focus. Oh, there she is. There's the other one. Being harassed. See that? I don't know if you can see that long top fin on her. Bloody hard to get her. Anyway, she's going to get pulled out today and put in a separate tank. And then I'm going to separate them for a month, clear them out, well, at least the next drop, and then give her to a new male, whom is a secret. But these guys look the lightest one the girls I've got, so fingers crossed they are gold, or at least blonde. Uh, what 
was going to show you. I really like these guys. I don't know what you call their colouring. I know genetically they're iridescent. Something, something, something. I've got it written down inside. And he's the blonde one. When you get the grey one, their colours are actually a little more vibrant and deeper, but brighter. So yeah, he's got a couple of girlfriends, but they're going to go on the fry tank very so shortly. Let them drop into the big tank. I don't know, should I keep going with these guys? I bought their dad from the pet shop one day. I do rather like the purple on them. Purple's my favourite colour. What else have we got? One, excuse my fingers, one last Molly. But he's got no girlfriend and I wonder if we can get them. More little plecos. I have lots of common plecos. I want to get some fancy ones. And here we've got the I think I'll show you. They have a long tail. They're kind of cool. Kind of. I don't know. I don't know whether I should carry on with these guys either. A few people seem to have these colours. I don't know. What do you think? Should I keep keep these going? Over here we have their last lot of fry from the summer tank. Some of them are starting to colour up now. Oh, focusing. I just hate that. I just will not focus. Oh. Morning, Vinny. This is my old cat, Vin Diesel. And Jinx. Jinx always gets into everything. Um, anyway, back to fish. So, these ones are starting to colour up. It's kind of interesting. They've got just the yellow tail. On the little boys. So I might keep them if they're not going to show any black because that'll be awesome for my secret little project which I'll show you guys later um, what else this tank needs to clean out they're about to go into a tank to be sorted they're about six to eight weeks old I've been pulling the males out of there Got some mold in there. Pretty hard to see them. Anyway, the bottom lot are all my fry tanks. Oh, I got one cold one in here, and he got thrown out in the summer tank. If I can find him, he is hiding. And he has a beautiful top fin that is bright yellow, and his tail is blues and white. No, he's hiding. Oh, hang on. There he is. There he is. Funnily enough, I think he looks more pretty from the top than he does from the side. Kind of random. So I'm kind of hoping we get some more babies from him. Because he's kind of cool. I like him. And this is my platy tank. My orange and tri-coloured these guys are all growing out quite nicely obviously it's going to be a lot more of those with all the fry that are coming through and another fry tank these guys mysteriously been growing really slowly oh secret for really cheap lighting because before we didn't have any lighting LED strip off AliExpress. Five meters. Uh, it was about ten dollars, I think. Fifteen. 